Kjørgen. 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 I want to commend you, uh, Kjørgen, in relation to your, um, the event last uh, Thursday here in the Dáil. Uh, I thought you spoke very well. And uh, Lisa, I want to congratulate you, pre-congratulate you uh, for Saturday. There's still time to run, but <laughs> I hope you enjoy your day. Here, look, Peter, I'm calling for a debate with the Minister for Justice on the steps that Ireland is taking to combat the human trafficking taking place on our shores. I welcome Minister Harris's signalling that Ireland is to join the EU directive which will amend the anti-trafficking directive, strengthening our ability to combat these crimes and introducing a European referral mechanism to improve early uh, identification of victims and provide support. Harmonised definition of the likes of forced marriage and illegal adoptions across the EU and the use of advanced passenger information will allow us to be greater uh, be able to identify, disrupt and prosecute those involved in organised crime engaging in the trafficking of persons for labour or prostitution. Last year, the Council of Europe's Group of Experts on Action Against Trafficking in Human Beings stated that sexual exploitation in Ireland remains the primary form of exploitation, but the number of people trafficked for labour exploitation in sectors including fishing, farming, construction, catering and domestic work grew. And that trafficking for labour exploitation means under-recognised and under-reported. Shockingly, there have been no convictions for trafficking for labour exploitation in this country, despite the increasing numbers of identified suspected cases. And yet, we know that Ireland is not immune to trafficking. So we need to hear what's been done by this government to step up the effort in combating trafficking. We need to establish safe reporting procedures for foreign workers and to review the atypical working scheme in the fisheries in industry in order to ensure that it contains uh, sufficient safeguards against the trafficking and exploitation of fishermen. We need to examine what can be done to raise awareness of the warning signs of trafficking so that the people can monitor their own communities with specialised training for individuals who work closely with at-risk individuals in how to spot indicators of human trafficking amongst children. The mass movement of persons across the European continent as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine has provided <coughs> traffickers with the perfect smokescreen to carry out large-scale operations undetected. We must be extra vigilant in this environment to ensuring that the vulnerabilities of people in flux are not exploited for profit. I reminded of this time last year when 91 children were flown into Dublin airport by a charity, 59 of them unaccompanied, and Tusla didn't even know about it. I'm not saying that there was anything untoward about that particular instance, but it really does show that the eye needs to be on the ball all of the time. So could we have uh, a minister in for the debate? on this. Thank you. Uh, Senator Cogan spoke this morning around um, the whole issue of human trafficking, which is a really serious issue. I think uh, in Ireland we are certainly not top of the class. We're not even middle of the class. We're performing very poorly and lots of very vulnerable people, predominantly women, are being trafficked in and out of this country and around the country. So it is a significant problem and we are absolutely failing in that regard. Um, take on board your comments around the new EU directive that hopefully will strengthen our response as a member state to that issue. And I will put in a request to the Minister for Justice to have that debate here in the House and to get an update from the acting uh, Minister, uh, Minister Harris, uh, on where we are at as a country in our response to that really uh, terrible issue. And I, I would agree with you that the war in Ukraine has presented an opportunity for those who wish to exploit it. Um, because there is uh, easier access to getting in and out of countries because of the goodwill of, of many nations in, in, in responding to that, that war situation. Um